Doñana is not just a bird reserve. On its sand and among the undergrowth of its forests, we can find an extremely wide variety of insects, amphibians, and vertebrates whose most representative species are the lynx and the mongoose. The National Park is one of the best places in Europe to observe wildlife in its natural environment. Its importance is such that it must be protected by legislation to guarantee its conservation. But the fragility of the ecosystems does not understand laws and requires constant attention because any alteration could cause irreparable damage. It's not easy to predict how an entire ecosystem might evolve if one of its elements disappears. The balance between predators and prey, between expanses of pasture and herbivores, between fish and birds, is essential for the entire area. The lynx, for example, feeds almost exclusively on rabbits, but its absence also puts other species in serious danger. The lynx, as the king of our Iberian fauna, is feared and respected by other predators like the fox or the mongoose, which are less selective in their diets. If they proliferate, the population of other small animals would be reduced and the food chain would be altered and eventually broken. If this happened, the ecosystems would be destroyed and their reconstruction would be almost impossible. Today, the lynx is in extreme danger of extinction, and we will not be able to relax until its footprints once more appear in the sands of Doñana. The breeding and captivity program began in 2003. The first thing that was done was to capture a reproductive male who was called Garfio. Since then, an average of three individuals a year have been introduced into the center from large litters born in the wild in the communities in Sierra Morena or Doñana. The possibilities of three or four lynxes from the same litter reaching adulthood in the wild are very scarce, and therefore capturing some cubs guarantees that all of them will survive. The situation is so desperate that it is calculated that the death of a single lynx is as significant for the species as the deaths of 400,000 people would be for humanity. It is therefore not surprising that the Iberian lynxes in the breeding and captivity center are treated as unique, priceless treasures. The techniques used at the El Acebuche Center have made it possible to make considerable progress in our knowledge of these animals, and moreover, we must take into account the fact that never before had it been possible to study the Iberian lynx 24 hours a day. Thanks to this, they have accumulated a huge amount of data that have permitted great advances in the knowledge of the physiology, territoriality, habits and sexual behavior of these felines. The Iberian lynx is a medium-sized feline. The females weigh between 9 and 10 kilos. The males can weigh between 14 and 16 kilos. They can be about the size of a Dalmatian, except that a Dalmatian weighs more. An Iberian lynx, because it has to be very agile, is very light in weight. Considering all the variables, the territories can be between 5 and 15 square kilometers. The territory varies a lot depending on the density of rabbits. If there are a lot of rabbits, the territories are small, and if there are few rabbits, the territories are bigger. It also depends on the sex. The males have much bigger territories than the females. Normally, they hunt down one rabbit a day, except females with cubs, who have greater energy needs and can hunt up to three rabbits. 
That means that they have really to work hard to hunt down that number of rabbits to keep the litter going. Food is one of the factors that has most influenced the precarious situation of the Iberian lynx. The more specific a behavior or a diet is, the more complicated it is to adapt and survive in a different environment. The lynx can, without a doubt, be considered an animal of very special tastes. The fact that the rabbit makes up 90% of the lynx's diet means that this animal's destiny is closely linked to that of its main food. It would be futile to reintroduce the lynx into a forest that is not ready to receive it, and therefore, the studies also focus on monitoring the numbers and health of rabbits in the areas where they intend to carry out this reintroduction. It is also fundamental that the lynxes know how to hunt them, as only then will they be able to fend for themselves in the wild. The work is divided into observation of the animals, the constant gathering of data, and their subsequent analyses. And as it is a completely new area of experimentation, the exchange of information with experts in other medium-sized felines, such as Eurasian lynxes or bobcats, can help to overcome certain difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> 